is Aina Farhana and I'm from BTEC Section 3 and today I would like to be presenting about uh, management of technology assignment which is about uh, future faculty of FPTT and today we already decide that we can choose Chambu Cafeteria as our main choice of regarding this assignment which actually there is a lot of reason why and I'm gonna explain it later so there is a lot of factor why we choosing Chambu Cafeteria as as our main choice in this assignment um, actually we do see that this place carry a lot of potential which is it is uh, located in the main gate of uh, FPTT and I see that when the visitors came they might go to the cafeteria first and take a look and it is really important for us to giving a first good impression to them and it is really important like having a cafeteria that really really represents um, about what is faculty of management technology management is so i do see that this place is it is really good and it is also close to lecture classes and lectures room so let's take a quick look of how Chambu cafeteria looks like and as you guys can see the space is quite big quite nice and it's located in indoor so it is not a problem for us to implement a lot of technology here as it was already secured rather than um, rather than a cafe that located at the outside so um, this is our sketch this is sketch from our group and how we visualize future faculty gonna looks like um, my friends gonna explain more regarding this but as you guys can see we do have a uh, we do want to implement a robotic waitress um, uv sterilization lamp and a smart dustbin so my friends gonna explain uh, in depth about this i'm just gonna show you guys how we do visualize this Chamber cafeteria gonna looks like in the future. So with the help of AI, uh, this is how we want a faculty of a uh, chamber cafeteria wants to look like. As you guys can see, there is a smart um, dustbin here, and the and we have a robotic waitress, and we have like a pantries that has a UV sterilization. Um, which is helps to kill a bacteria growth in the food and we also have um, a section to order so my friends can explain more regarding this and thank you hello my name is Haja Ashikin now I would like to explain three points introduction about the future FPT Robotic Waitress is the first electronic autonomous robots with complex behavior were created by William Gray Walter. These robots are equipped with sensors, cameras, and other advanced technologies. As we know that robotic performs like a human staff, but it's more better. This is because the robotic no time off, which is if human workers they need time off, these robots need no annual leave and will never be sick. Imagine if the robotic waitress can perform cleaning service as well. For example, this robot can be equipped with features like built-in vacuum cleaners or mop attachments to help keep the Cambo cafeteria looks more tidy and clean so that staff Cambo cafeteria can consistent their level and quality service. Next, our second point of the future FPTT is ultraviolet UV light. UV light is a form of non-ionizing radiation that is emitted by the sun and artificial sources such as tanning beds. The safety of many categories of foods and beverage that includes fresh produce, meat and poultry. 
In this case, we can save the nutrition of foods for students at the Cambo cafeteria. Next, UV system may also improve indoor air quality and the performance of HVAC system. We also are going to make the UV light better for the Cambo cafeteria, such as make DIY UV light at the Cambo cafeteria. To sum up, UV light is a good innovative technology that can be used at Cambo cafeteria because have a lot of advantage for the student and workers staff FPTT. Lastly, we talk about biodegradable dustbin as third point of the future FPTT. For your information, biodegradable dustbin is the waste which can be composed by bacteria or other living organisms. There's a lot type of biodegradable dustbin but we more focus on food waste because we are going to put the dustbin at Cambo Cafeteria FPTT. I say that biodegradable dustbin created to break down a food waste so that food waste will not be thrown away all over the place. Biodegradable dustbin is made from materials that can decompose or break down the food waste to make it safe to the environment. Overall, using biodegradable dustbin for good waste is a good innovative technology for Cambo cafeteria because it can make the environment more fresh and comfortable. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Lee Darwinish from 1B Tech Section 3 Slash 1. Today I am going to explain about the sketching I've made. Okay. According to the image, this is our Chambo Cafe, which is at FPTT. This is a futuristic look of our Chambo Cafe. We have added some technologically useful materials which can help our daily routine. Based on the sketching above, we added three materials which will be very useful at the Chambo Cafe, which is UV light, biode biodegradable dustbin, and a robot which can help to take order and serve food. The function of the UV light is to prevent spreading of disease and to kill bacteria and virus. The biodegradable dustbin is to separate rubbish for recycling purpose. And the robot will take orders from students and lecturers who come to the cafe to eat and it will also serve the food they ordered to them. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Bu Roshan. Now I want to talk about the three benefits of the future FPTT. The advantage of robotic wearers is cost saving. We use the robotic wearers can greatly reduce the cost of FPTT every year, which is much more cost effective than a wetter and the robotic wearers can work continuously tirelessly. This is because robotic wearers do not require waste, breaks, and any employer benefits, such as um, SOSO, KWSP, and so on, which will increase profitability for FPTT in the long run. In addition, the robotic virus is programming to avoid unnecessary disputes caused by serving service attitude to a custom extent. Robotic virus will not get privileged just because the customers are familiar people. They will train every customer fairly and serve every customer attentively. The advantage of UV light is sanitization. The principle of ultraviolet disinfection and sterilization is used to high energy ultraviolet light to improve the DNA double halide chain, thereby activating bacteria and virus. Compared with chemical sanitization and disinfection, the advantage of UV light is that it has high sanitation efficacy in application is usually complete within a few seconds and no other chemical pollutants are produced. The advantage of biodegradable dustbin is environmental sustainability. They can be decomposed naturally through scientific processing. This method is simple and more convenient than traditional gravel disposal methods. 
this can also avoid the odor of food residues in the cafe environment. The decomposed food waste can be used as green fertilizer. This can indirectly reduce cafe overhead costs. Additionally, using biodegradable dustbin in cafes can avoid costs and penalties for waste disposal. That is incorrect and comply with these regulations. Hello, my name is Durbashni Parmaraj. I'm from 1B Tech Section 3 slash 2. Today, I'm going to explain about technology management tool that can be applied in designing smart technological ideal for the future FPTP. First of all, a technology management tool can be defined or referred as a software or system designed to exist organization in planning, monitoring or optimizing their technology resources and processes. These tech tools also help the organization to achieve their goals. My group has used road mapping as a technology management tool for designing smart technological ideas for the future FPTP. First of all, um, I would like to explain or give more information about road mapping. Road mapping is a powerful strategic technique that integral to creating and delivering strategy or innovation in many organizations. This process involves much more strategic thinking and research than what will ultimately appear on the record. Secondly, road mapping is a high level document that articulate the vision and strategy plan. There are three major components in road mapping processes. Research, strategy, planning, and the third one is coordinating with the organization. The components of the road map processing help to create or involve technologies, ideas, or products. Road mapping also analyzes the current market landscape or existing technologies. So, we can identify from the road mapping. Road mapping can help find out the key milestones or technology traits to create innovative technologies for the future FPTT. My name is Naliraj, son of Nagraja. So today, my part is to explain about smart technologies ideas for future FPTT based on road mapping technology management tools. There are three main smart technologies that can be applied in future of FPTT based on road mapping management tools. It is biodegradable dustbin, robotic batteries, and UV light. Road mapping emphasizes technology assessment. In the context of FPTT, technology assessment can evaluate the feasibility and scalability of chosen technologies. For instance, Cambo Cafeteria is a first place for visitors or students to make their first impression about the FPT. Furthermore, Cambo, Cambo Cafeteria should use road mapping as a management tool to implement some innovative technology. Cambo Cafeteria can implement biodegradable dustbin that can be used as a food waste disposal with a bin monitoring system. IoT sensor on each biodegradable dustbin are able to monitor field levels and also optimize waste collection rules. Moreover, the workers in cafeteria can clean the dustbin if they are filled with food waste. So students or visitors are able to do their discussion 
without any batch map. Finally, road mapping in the Cambo cafeteria with robotic batteries entails using semi-autonomous robots to carry out order delivery or customer guidelines. To move around the area and engage with customers, these robots are outfitted with navigation system, cameras and sensors. The robots in this scenario will be programmed to navigate the cafeteria along predetermined pairs of routes. They may have pre-arranged routes to follow when delivery food orders from the kitchen to specific table or location. Customers could use dedicated terminals or digital interface to place order with this robot. Furthermore, robotic waiters can move quickly through the cafeteria, cutting down on meal delivery wait times and increase overall service effectiveness. <coughs> the robot system also can be programmed with the cafeteria layout, giving them the ability to adjust to various and elation in their surrounding. <coughs> However, problems like maintenance technical difficult might need to be fixed or adoption to be successful. Taking everything into account, employing a robotic veterans for road mapping in Cambo Cafeteria offer a chance to enhance slime pleasure and speed up service by leveraging state-of-the-art technology. Last but not least, you will like sources road mapping in the Cambo Cafeteria and this laying out a predetermined layout of path within the area. In order to guide or direct people, you will like can be placed strategically to illuminate or mark specific pathways, tables or area within the cafeteria. This procedure may involve installing UV light along specific roads that lead to various food station, city station, or cafeteria zone. To help customer navigate the space more effectively, the UV light could be turned on during specific hours or times of the day. Although UV light is Invisible to the neck eye, it becomes visible with special glasses or equipment offering clear guidelines when need. Safety, including proper installation and consideration of portal health risks, are curious. Regular upkeep and monitoring are also emphasized to ensure the effectiveness of the UV light system in safety direction people through the KFO Kembo cafeteria. That's all for me. Thank you. My group has found some related information about innovative technologies from the internet resources. These are the example resources that my group that my group has found from the internet. These res resources is very help helpful to complete the assignment as soon as possible that's all for me thank you